Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too, and on today's video we'll be updating the BIOS on our Gigabyte A520M DS3H to the latest BIOS version using the QFlash method from the BIOS. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at how to do a BIOS flash on our Gigabyte a520M DS3H motherboard. There is an ongoing problem that I'm experiencing with this particular setup. I am using a Ryzen 5 3400G, which technically is not supported. But the weird thing is, it boots, I've installed Windows, and most stress test works. Cinebench runs okay, CPU-Z stress test works okay. But for some reason, whenever I go into a video game of some sort, so CSGO, those kinds of things, immediately the system just dies. And I've tried all sorts of settings, the CSM settings, UEFI, etc., etc., and I've updated to the latest BIOS but one. There is one more beta BIOS that we can try. So I figured it'd be a good idea to take you guys along for the ride and we'll go through the process of downloading the BIOS, putting it onto our USB stick. And also, if you want to, you can actually back up the existing BIOS onto a USB stick as well from within the Gigabyte BIOS. So let's head over to the computer first of all and we'll download the latest BIOS. So the first thing we want to do is to head over to the Gigabyte website and download the BIOS. So we're just going to type in search there. And there we go. That is the site there. All links for this will be in the video description. So not a problem if you're not following along with this. Just click in the, uh, the bottom section in the details and you can click on the links there. So this is the motherboard we've got, the A520M DS3H. And again, on the front of the box says, does not support the 3200 or 3400G, but I refuse to give in. So let's head over to the support tab and we'll go down to BIOS. And this is the latest BIOS. So there is an update here to the latest the GSO, which is the Combo V2 1.2.0.1A. And also it fixes USB 2.0 devices, stability and compatibility. So currently we're on F12. So I'm not really hoping a great deal, but you never know. It's certainly better to try this than uh, give up altogether and have to potentially return the board. So let's download the BIOS. So we'll download, click on download button there. And we will save that just to the uh, desktop here. This is on Windows 11. There's a kind of weird bug in it at the moment where Explorer takes a little bit of time. So yeah, your, uh, your mileage will vary. Obviously, if you're on Windows 10, it will look slightly different. So there, if we refresh the desktop, then we can see it. So yeah, there's some odd bugs in this operating system so far. So what we want to do is to right click on our BIOS and choose Extract All. And choose where to extract it to. Just to our desktop, it's absolutely fine. And there is our BIOS file. So now what we need to do is to insert a USB drive into the computer. And there we go, there is our old BIOS. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that and choose Format the Drive. None of this really matters because, well, as long as it's FAT32, that is going to be one thing. So you want to have a drive which is 32 gigs or less. Click on Start. You'll get the message saying that it will erase all data. So we'll click OK on that also. And the format is complete. So we can close down these windows now. And we can just simply drag this BIOS into our USB drive. And that is essentially it. So that is the USB drive prepared and ready to go with our BIOS file. We don't need to rename it or anything like we do when we're doing a USB flash BIOS. If you want to see how to do it with the uh, CPU removed from the system, so no CPU, basically for compatible issues, if you've got like a Ryzen 5000 series processor, you can click on the links in the top right hand corner or in the video description. So we'll just double check because Windows has been a bit weird and check the USB drive. Yep, it is definitely there. So that is excellent. We can eject the drive and next we can head over to the computer itself. So this is the desktop. So I'm going to turn on the PC. Uh, this is on a test bed. So I'm going to use a screwdriver to turn it on and just going to tap the delete key straight away so that we can go into the BIOS. I was going to use a capture card for this, but well, you should be able to see what's going on anyway. So again, just keep on tapping the delete key until we get to our BIOS. So currently the BIOS is in advanced mode. Normally when you boot up, it would be in uh, easy mode. So it would look something like this. There is gonna be a BIOS tour of this motherboard. So if you wanna check that out again, that'll be in the video description or you can click on the links up in the top right hand corner. Anyway, this is the system. So as you can see, we're on the DS3H, got the F12 BIOS, etc. 
and the Ryzen 5 Pro 3400G with Radeon Vega graphics. Very, very nice. But we want to flash the bar. So what we need to do is we're going to press F8 or alternately we can actually go and click on this link here. So where it says Q flash. So it's going to Q flash. So in this section, we've got two options. We've got an option for either updating or saving the BIOS. So if you want to save the BIOS, you can actually update, save it to a USB stick, to a drive which is listed. I've already done that and I've got it somewhere safe, but certainly if you want to, you can do. But we want to choose update BIOS. So as soon as you click on that, it scans the USB drives and it's found our BIOS, which is the 13G, which is this one. So we'll click on that and press enter. And it'll say, do you want to update the BIOS? Yes, we certainly do. So we'll click on that. And there we go. So it's verifying the file. The file works. So it's on the left-hand side now, you can see where it says the update BIOS, the current version, all that kind of stuff. So just, uh, we've got to press to start. So click on there. And there we go. So that's updating the BIOS. So the first part will go quite quickly where it just uh, erases the flash ROM. Then it will start reading and updating. This will take a little bit longer. We'll probably end up fast forwarding through this, so uh, we'll get towards the end. So we come up towards the end now and we've got the message there saying it's going to reboot. And the system's coming back up again. I'm not sure whether it's going to go straight back into Windows or whether or not it's going to go into the BIOS to be reconfigured. Really, if it's flashed a BIOS, it should, in theory, go into the BIOS so you can uh, change any settings. It does appear to be doing memory testing at the moment, so I would imagine it has reset the BIOS, CMOS, etc., whatever you want to call it, UEFI, back to the defaults. Seems to be going through the motions of something. All right, yep, just a couple of reboots and we're, uh, we're heading back into Windows. So actually, while you are here, while you're all captive audience, so let's see if uh, it actually worked, or at least in terms of did it work to fix our problem. So the problem I was getting is going into either Rocket League, CSGO, uh, basically any game, even that older game, Need for Speed, from uh, 2010, crashed out soon as we went into the actual game itself. So let's try CSGO and... Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, whether or not it crashes out. Generally, it will load, and we'll get to the menu, and you'll hear the, the music, but like 20 seconds in or so, it will actually crash out. So let's see what happens now. And it appears it has died already. Yep, no signal detected, so yeah, we've gone into the game. As soon as we start doing that in any game, or anything that appears to be using a certain part of the chipset, it just crashes out to the desktop. So, sadly, this is a failure, and I guess now we've tried every BIOS, it is official that the Ryzen 5 3400G does not work on this motherboard. Well, unless you just want to go into Chrome or something. Okay, so there we have it. There is how to uh, flash your BIOS from the BIOS menu on our Gigabyte A520M DS3H. And I think this pretty much sums up my conclusion that the Ryzen 5 3400G doesn't work properly on this particular motherboard. So it does boot, and as you can see, Windows is running, and we can go into various things, go into programs, and they all seem to work. Uh, open up browsers, etc. All that kind of stuff works. No problem, it's actually quite nippy, it gets a pretty decent score. But sadly, as soon as we open up any of the 3D tasks, the system completely cr crashes to a black screen and there's no responsiveness. Now, if you are experiencing the same sort of problem, you can actually pair it with a discrete GPU, something like a, a 1063 gig or basically any graphics card you want, and it actually works fine. I've done that and I've played CSGO for a long time and it works absolutely fine. So it definitely seems to be something with the chipset that just doesn't quite like the Vega graphics, which probably puts it in the same position as a lot of us. So anyway, there you go. There is how to update the BIOS, and also we've uh, yeah we found out that this is not going to be a goer. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.